Hello and welcome. Today we will be talking about the topic Efficient Creation and Renewal of a Pre-Production on IBM ZOS with help from BCV4. Now, what is a pre-production? For most of us, a pre-production is simply a copy of a production. The prefix pre expresses that we are from the perspective of developers and testers right before going to production. The critical propagation process of new applications or new program versions to production can be first tested in the pre-production environment. This is normally the reason for establishing a pre-production, and it is also the reason why a pre-production environment seldom gets renewed, because a pre-production typically serves only the very final tests before going into production, and because a refresh of the pre-production is considered expensive. I think we all agree allowing programmers and testers direct access to production is not desirable. Think of data privacy or operational safety. Decoupling of production and quality assurance activities, QA, is a must. If the pre-production is renewed often enough, for example nightly, then the provision of test data to the numerous test beds can be based exclusively on the said pre-production. The production is no longer addressed for test purposes. Access to production from the QA is no longer necessary. Hence, production and test works are fully decoupled. The challenge is to find a way to renew the pre-production automatically and cost-efficiently without impacting production. It has often been a challenge to deliver relational consistent and integer table sets if the source tables are continuously in operation. A pre-production is more or less under the control of quality assurance. Hence, it is easily possible to set database or tables in read-only mode during the data transfer to test systems. In this regard, a pre-production is the perfect source for data transfer to all the further test beds. Some say a pre-production is too expensive. Well, disk space is needed for the duplication. On the other hand, a non-current copy also takes up disk space. And if there's one thing that has become cheaper in recent years, it's disk space. And it will probably become even cheaper in the future. It simply doesn't make sense to try saving here. Also, a frequently renewed pre-production requires no maintenance. It is always in the same condition as production. It all comes down to finding a mechanism to create a pre-production fast, cost-efficient, and automatically. Such a procedure is usually called cloning, and this is where BCV4 comes into play. Copying big amounts of data using volume copies is usually not an issue. If available, BCV4 uses fast hardware-assisted copy tools for the physical copy like IBM's Flash Copy, EMC's TimeFinder, or similar products that are available from all major storage subsystem vendors. The systems to be copied reside on ZOS volumes, be it a single DB2, a DB2 group, or a combined IMS DB2 system, and a bunch of related VSAM files. BCV4 duplicates these volumes and transforms the content of the copies to become the newly refreshed pre-production. This process is very fast and does not require any manual intervention. Specialized programs process several parts in parallel. The relevant items are consistently renamed within ICF catalog, DB2 catalog, directory, bootstrap dataset, and active logs. At the end, everything is ready to launch the new or refresh systems of the pre-production. Even with huge systems, this takes only an hour during which the pre-production i.e. the former version of it, is not available. But importantly, there is no impact on production. BCV4 generates a job chain that is executed by the in-house scheduler. Such a regularly refreshed pre-production entirely decouples production on the one hand and tests and development on the other. You don't have to be a cloning expert to use BCV4. BCV4 is the expert. It assists you in all aspects of defining and creating a clone. With BCV4, the making or refreshing of your pre-production is neither expensive nor challenging. It becomes a part of the daily routine. Should you wish to obtain further information, don't hesitate to ask for a product demo. Thank you for your interest.